What's up guys, I'm Chirag and welcome to part 7 of tutorial series on deploying Flask application on the EC2 instance with Docker. In the previous tutorial, we had updated the Docker Compose file for Nginx container as you can see on my screen. And now in this tutorial, we are going to build the Docker image and run the same on the EC2 instance, right? So we are going to start with pushing the code on the GitHub followed by pulling the same code on the EC2 instance, right? And so on. So let's get started. So I have two terminals over here. Uh, over left, uh, I will be using to push the code to the GitHub repo. Uh, that is this one, flask-docker, right? And in the right terminal, I have SSH or logged in into the EC2 instance, right? So post pushing the code from here, we are going to pull that code over here, right? So let's get started. LS get status. So we have one directory and the Docker compose file modified, right? So get add dot. nginx container update and I will push the code so get push origin master authentication failed let me try again And here we go, right? So we have the updated code over here now. Now let me close this terminal. Now here, clear, ls, cd flask hyphen docker, ls. Yeah, so get pull. And here we have the latest changes, right? So now all we have to do is update the environment variable, right? So if you remember, then we had set server underscore name as the environment variable within the Docker compose file, right? So it's going to be vim docker compose dot yaml. So we are going to replace this o dot o dot o dot o with the public IP address of the EC2 instance, right? So I'm going to copy this public IP and paste it over here. And let's save this. Right, and I think we are all set to run the docker right so it's going to be sudo docker compose up hyphen hyphen build and let's see how it goes and now we have the container up and running right so let's try to access the flask application on port 80 because nginx server is listening on port number 80 so colon we don't need to put colon maybe and it's not loading right why because we had not opened port number 80 within security groups so we have to do that so if we look at view inbound rules it says port 8000 and port 22 right so click on the security group with an inbound say edit add a rule say port 80 traffic from anywhere say save right and now i think we should be yeah it's working so this is how uh you can 
deploy the flask application on the ec2 instance with docker right but apart from that let's see few things that how many containers are running so let me stop this first and put hyphen d parameter so i can detach from here and so that we can execute other commands right so it's up let me clear the screen so let's see uh how many container are running so sudo docker ps so as you can see uh, we have two container right so one is nginx and another is uh, flask docker underscore flask cap right so let me make this clear yeah here we go so now if you remember then uh, we had set container underscore name as nginx right so here is our name right that is nginx so let's try to also rename this uh, flask cap or the flask docker container right so let me stop this container first so to stop or kill the container it's sudo docker kill container id right copy paste now it will stop the flask docker underscore flask cap underscore one right so let's see so now only nginx is running so now to add the container name we are going to edit the docker compose file right so it's going to be vim docker compose dot yaml and i will simply copy this container underscore name and paste it within flask cap enter paste and i will simply say flask app okay and let's say this so now sudo docker compose up hyphen hyphen build hyphen d right enter and it should be running so sudo docker ps oops docker ps right so now as you can see uh, we have the name as flask app and name as nginx right so this is how uh, the container underscore name works right so let's even try to access the application and it's working fine right so guys if you remember then we had set one more parameter that is restart as always uh, in the previous tutorial right so let me also show you how that work right so let's uh, run the container so sudo docker compose up hyphen hyphen build hyphen d right and now if i do sudo docker ps then we will have two containers up and running right so now how that restart parameter or the restart policy will work right so let me stop the docker daemon service right or let me stop the docker service so i will say sudo service docker stop right and this will kill both the containers so let's do it so now if i do sudo docker ps then it will say cannot connect to docker daemon and whatever the message it's uh, showing us right now if i start the docker service again right so let's start it again so i will say sudo service docker start enter and now let's check uh, which all container is running so let me clear this i will say sudo docker ps right so now as you can see uh, the nginx uh, container is auto restarted right and we are not uh, restarted or started it manually right but if you notice then the uh, flask application container didn't restart right because we had not mentioned that restart policy within that container or for that container so this is how the uh, restart policy uh, for the given container will work. So well, uh, this is how uh, you can deploy a Flask application on an EC2 instance with Docker. 
so probably uh, let me know if you want me to do tutorial on network mode as bridge driver so how you can isolate the whole network and deploy the flask application using uh, two container that is one for flask application and another for nginx web server right so let me know in comments if you want me to cover that thing too and till that time if you want me to do tutorial on any use case or service then please leave them below and i will try my best to come up with the tutorial as soon as possible and if you have any queries or comments then again please leave them below and don't forget to like and subscribe to my channel and see you next time